by the Almighty God. He just say, none of us are worthy. If you feel like you're worthy, then you, you're in the wrong place. Now, none of us are, are worthy. Brother Hart, and as you go forward, wherever you might go, always remember that God don't have to use none of us. God is God all by himself. God, God don't have to use us, but he chooses to use us. But we're just clay. Everybody that's on your pew, they're just an earthen vessel. That's all we are. We're earthen vessel. But there's something precious on the inside. That, that's what makes the difference. Not, not your hair, not your beard, not the color of your hair, not, not, not the color of your wig. Not, not that really, really makes a whole lot of difference. Not, not, not the clothes that you wear, the shoes that you wear, the car that you drove in. Really doesn't matter. All of that ain't nothing but clay. All, all of it, just that earthen vessel. Let me also say this very clearly. Don't want to scare nobody, but this this clay vessel is dying. That's this body is dying. It, it's, it's really temporary. It's not designed to last forever. The part of us that lasts forever, the part that you don't even see. All right. It's our soul, our, our spirit. The God that is in us. That's why Paul writes to the Corinth church. Church that he had found in a church that had been affected and afflicted by false teachings. This church, Corinth, turned on Paul. Some claimed that he was not a real apostle. Some said that he was a liar. Some said that he was taking money. Yeah, all right. And then Paul writes this and says to them, listen, I am at best an earthen vessel all right, that's it. carrying a very Precious you. Alright. Yes. Yeah, see, he really said, I, I'm not, I'm not guilty of what you say I am. Alright. But I also want y'all to know at the same time I'm not perfect. Alright. I like Paul because Paul was so real in his teaching. Paul said, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I've done nothing what y'all said I did, but I do want y'all to know I'm not perfect. You know what? As preachers, that's a good thing to say to the that's people to know that I'm not perfect. Alright. All of us are just the same. We're just clay vessels that God is using. But there's something special on yes, yes, the inside. Uh, Paul tells them, Paul tells Corinth, but, but there's an embodiment of God that is on the inside of me. Yes, sir. I am an inhabitation of God of heaven. Now listen, that ain't just for Paul. That's for everybody that's in this room right now. We we got something in us. If you say God is on the inside. All right. Yes, God, God. The God, think about this. The God who spoke worlds into existence is in you. All right. A God who is too big to be housed All right. is in you. That's, right. that, that's amazing, brother. So that's why I tell you, be careful how you treat folks. All right. Because you got to recognize the God in somebody else. That's right. <laughs> Thank God for Jesus and who Jesus is. God, God's legacy, the legacy of Christ. Who's in you? The Word of God is in us called the Logos, the Word. John 1 calls it the light. John 1 29 calls it the lamp. John 3 calls it the love of God. Colossians 1 says he's likened of God. The light of God in him is the fullness of God. He is God beside him. There is none other. One of the questions came up yesterday is Jesus God? Yeah, he answered correctly. He's a good teacher. He said, Yeah, Jesus is God. He's the embodiment of God. God is flesh. Who dwell among us. All right. All right. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, all that is in you, all that is in us, listen, we are saved and he is in us. We ought to be excited. We ain't excited about nothing else. You ought to be excited about Jesus. Yeah. Thank God for Jesus. Something the songwriter said about that name, Jesus, is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name of Jesus. Yes. One day, let me tell you something about this name. It didn't happen yet, but one day every knee's gonna bow. That's the harbor, every tongue is going to confess that he is Lord. It has not happened yet. There are folk who are still living right now who think they're bigger than God, but there will be a time. That's how high is when every knee's gonna bow. That's every tongue's gonna confess. He put this is what he did, y'all, when he put this, put this divine stuff in us. Watch this. The divine content in us. Is in a defective container. All right. The container is defective. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. It, listen, the unbroken, the unbroken one. All right. Is housed in brokenness. All right. I know that don't even make sense. That's how God operates. That's just how God 
our words. That's why he said there's a treasure in this earthen vessel. It's your name as you move, move forward. Just remember that you're just an earthen vessel. God is moving in you. God is using you. And he doesn't have to. He chooses to do it. And so that's an humbling spirit all in itself. Now let me tell you, if God is in us, that means, oh boy, God is housed in a life. God is housed in a church. God is housed in an alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Now you say, you should preach with me. You say it in a church. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because one way that we ought to go in church, if we really ought to be who God really calls us to be, we don't we understand that if we come to church, we're not coming to a place where everybody got it all together. Yeah. 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 We, we, we say it's a hospital, but it's funny. When we identify sick folks, we get surprised because sick folk in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's all Paul said. Paul, Paul said in me. Yeah, Paul said, I'm not I'm not guilty none of the stuff y'all said about me, but I want y'all to know I ain't not perfect. Not perfect. Not perfect. Because darkness was showing up darkness. In ancient times, 